I realized we didn't have an intro for this video, and so we're throwing it back to Potato Cam, what, 2015, 2012, photo booth style? My name is Cassandra, uh, middle name Lynn, how you get the Cassandra Lynn, but I go by Cass. Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I finally started deep diving on the fact that I have to get rid of everything because our entire life is going to change in a year's time. And from now until that point, I will be going through the process and sharing it with you guys. Uh, moving out of a three-floor condo into some kind of travel trailer situation and traveling for anywhere from one to three years. So if you're interested in any of that, come along. It's going to be a long journey, basically of possibly two to four years time. But yes, enjoy. In this video, I start the process of getting rid of everything. So I'll probably say that at least 30 times in there. I filmed the footage over the last two, three months. Potato cam out and let's get into the video. And we're starting it a whole year early because it's not till next summer that we are getting rid of entirely everything. But we are starting the process already. We have a yard sale we were going to do two weekends ago, but we're actually doing it next weekend. And hopefully I splice in some footage of stuff that we're getting rid of. But behind me is probably what will be going first. So let's show you that first. <laughs> so this box spring we can't use. We moved our bed. Um, so we will be putting this for free. But basically what's in this cart here will stay. But this stuff will all be leaving. There's guitars. There's books. There's... Tons of craft stuff, games, movies, carts. Um, that cart over there, probably the puzzle on it. There's mirrors there that used to hang here. Um, honestly, most of the Legos that we have kind of scattered throughout the house will probably be leaving as well. Pardon the chaotic mess. Everything on this bookshelf we will deal with over the next year. Most of it will probably be keeping. Um, some of it will continue to go. We need to go through it again. However, this chair will be leaving. Um, some of the stuff that's on the chair we will be putting up for sale and whatever doesn't sell will donate. That mirror, that sign, um, possibly this and that and maybe some of the puzzles. Eventually this couch will go some more art like related supplies um like some of this stuff will be staying i will not be getting rid of these and obviously like camera gear won't go um this was passed down through family with all the D, &D stuff so th all of this will be staying we will be storing i need to clear this to sell it or honestly just give it away it's so old um camera gear that i will sell stuff i need to still go through just more stuff. This is where we like hold games and things. Um, honestly, this stuff probably won't go or have anything done with it till next year. But this year I'm also going to sell this. We moved our bed down in the basement. We don't make our bed, sorry. <laughs> this will be going. This entire thing that's like from Ikea will be going. And most of the stuff that you see me piling on top will be going. I kind of cleared out the desk, so this is everything that was in my desk kind of mishmashed in there. So that will be going. Um, yeah, this used to be my office, but now it's my bedroom. And we have a lot of stuff to get rid of. A lot. All of this is going, that's donation, all of that, all of this. 
basically all of this is leaving minus the switch the switch will stay and that controller but everything else will be going these three bags are full of clothes donations that will be going as well but yeah like i said we have a lot of decisions to make a lot of stuff to sell donate get rid of for free like all the things and we're not even planning to be out of here for an entire year but we figure if we chuck and get rid of and go through half the stuff now it will only leave maybe big like big furniture pieces like beds and stuff that we're actively using and that'll give us kind of the whole year's time to continue to go through things and narrow it down start buying stuff figuring out what we're going to store what's worth the money to store um, if there's things we can pass off to people, just a lot. It's a lot. It's kind of crazy for thinking for a long time that I was pretty minimalistic about things and then being faced with your stuff, especially when you move, like everyone knows when they move, when you go to pack things in boxes, you're like, this is so much crap. So we have a lot to figure out still, um, but I know we'll get there and I'm not worried but we're starting the process early because I don't even know if I said this, but everything will be gone in a year and we won't live here anymore. We won't even have a physical house anymore. I don't even remember the last thing that I filmed. I'll throw in a picture of what it looked like pre yard sale. I think maybe I caught a clip. I don't even remember, but we ended up calling the garage sale early surprisingly made over $500, which just like blows my mind. Didn't even expect to pull in a hundred. And we really weren't that busy and most items were like a dollar, two dollars. Like, cause I almost hit a point the day before where I was like, I just want, let's just load up the car and go donate all of it. It's just like not worth the headache of having chaos in the house but I realize this is just going to be part of the process of getting rid of everything you basically own over a year. So it is the middle of July already. I think the last clip I filmed was at the end of June. Um, it is July 17th already and um, we're still working on things. So stuff is still leaving. I still have mirrors. I sold scanners. I mean, I've sold so much stuff. It's wild. So I'm currently going through this is basically all the other stuff we pulled up from the basement um this has some more figurines from our wedding this was all the candy that was in boxes from our wedding this is also more wedding if you can even read it probably not focus this is also more stuff from our wedding um just leftovers of tea i had macaroons in here if anyone is aware we had an alice in wonderland themed wedding um yeah this is all alice specific games i don't even know see i need to go through all of this like look at how cute these are the little sandbags for it this was stuff from our wedding this is more alice in wonderland stuff these are all games, pretty much just entirely all board games and brand new books. And this entire tub down here is books. We are taking all of this to Second and Charles before donating it just to see. I'll take store credit. I'm always buying secondhand books. Um, yeah, just more. This was stuff from our wedding. So I just have stuff I'm going through, like just stuff, more stuff. Someone is coming by to pick this up. I listed these two plant stands today. These two tables we borrowed from my mom. I have laundry and more laundry. This is just real life. The curtains I'm, or curtains, the hangers I'm keeping <laughs> to hang up my clothes, everything else I've pretty much gotten rid of. Stuff my son has to put away. Um, but yeah, it just stuff. This stuff is interesting. So not these two. These are two pillowcases. But look, it's a Tickle Me Elmo in the box from what, 96? 
where's it at? Yeah, 1996. We sold some of this stuff. Um, otherwise, there's keepsake stuff in here along with vintage stuff. I just sold these, which are Mickey little Polly Pocket things from 90, I could find the date, 96. Um, I still have the mirrors and the light plate here that I'm trying to sell and they're listed online. And then other things listed online, if I can open it, is all of this stuff. There's a My, My Little Pony from 1984, some Xena stuff, you can see Cabbage Patch Kids, these little mini ones. I just sold those so I gotta pack those. Yeah, just a bit of it is really wild because this table and chairs, the couch and all of this stuff over here, like eventually all of this will leave the shelves. I'm probably gonna sell, he fell apart. But I'm probably gonna take apart, and the Harry Potters are not mine, but I'm probably gonna take apart the dinosaur ones there and then I have all the others up over here to get rid of. We, you can, I think you can maybe see the outline of the square pictures that used to be there. So like this will sell, I'm probably gonna hold on to that. Definitely keeping this one right here. And then it's a very old vintage luggage cart that I've had for probably seven or eight years and I don't wanna sell it. But it's the same thing with this over here. <laughs> I'm rambling a lot. But it's the same thing with this. I paid a lot of money for this. And I think I bought that coffee table, I don't know, eight, nine years ago for $1,500. This I spent $6,000 on and it's, I think I've talked about it, it's an original printing press. Um, and in this box down here is plenty of the keys, um, the print, I'm like blanking on the right word. But I, I'm not ready to sell this or that coffee table yet. But to keep them, I have to store them along with... But the reality is, is whatever I decide to keep, I have to store. And then if we're going to be traveling for a couple of years, which I don't even know if I've announced this on here yet. We're going to be traveling for a couple of years. But if we're traveling, I have to pay to store this stuff. Now, these items that I bought for thousands of dollars, are they worth storing because I want to keep them forever? Yes. Other stuff like knickknacks and pretty things, is that worth it? Can I just sell it? Will I be fine without it? Obviously, because when I die, I can't take any of it with me. <sighs> I'm so much out of breath, I'm like up and down the stairs. You also may notice if I showed any part of this room before, I'm missing a plant there. I'm missing about seven from over there. And I had a plant there, had a plant there, had a plant there. No, I had two up there. They're gone. And I'm slowly... I was able to sell a few the others when we just called it with the yard sale yesterday. I ended up leaving quite a bit of stuff out on the curb and put a free sign and like listed it on Facebook Marketplace and within 10 minutes it was all gone so yeah that's an update of where i'm at right now still so much to go through um and hopefully maybe i'll compile this with the with everything for the whole year's process of getting rid of stuff so we'll see we'll see <laughs>